BASF Plant Health 2020 Video Series, Advanced Stress Mitigation and Unmatched Disease Control, Validated with On-Farm Trials. Hey everybody, it's Mike Probst here, PASF Tech Service Rep in Illinois, and today I want to cover a few things to keep in mind when you're planning your soybean fungicide applications to make sure we're giving them the best chance to be successful. The first thing I want to focus on is proper timing. We've traditionally seen the best response from fungicides on soybeans when they're sprayed somewhere between the R2 and R4 growth stages, so let's take a look at what those are real quick. The R2 growth stage starts when there's a flower present at one of the two uppermost nodes. The R3 growth stage, or beginning pod, is when there's a 3 16 inch pod at one of the four uppermost nodes. And finally, the R4 growth stage is when there's a 3 quarter inch pod at one of the four uppermost nodes. Landing somewhere in these growth stages is going to set your fungicides up nicely, but ideally we want to target the R3 growth stage if possible. As you can see by the graph shown here, we've done some pretty extensive studies over several years and we found that we should really be targeting either the R3 or R4 growth stages to get the best yield advantage from our fungicide applications. There may be certain circumstances that would warrant an earlier application at R2, such as the early onset of heavy disease pressure or a weather forecast that may make it difficult to make applications at R3. But for the most part, being patient is the best bet. Now looking at this graph, you may be thinking, well, it looks like it doesn't matter whether it's applied at R3 or R4. And in either situation, you're likely going to have success. But we reached out to Dr. Jason Bond, plant pathologist at Southern Illinois University Carbondale, and got some insight on why he thinks R3 is still the optimum timing for fungicide applications. Applying a fungicide at the R3 growth stage in soybean has two important benefits. Number one, we're applying the fungicide early in the disease cycle. Typically at the R3 growth stage we can already see the symptoms of frog eye leaf spot. Number two, applying a fungicide at this stage allows the fungicide to move into the plant in advance of the R4 growth stage. The R4 growth stage is the most critical time for soybean yield and stress at this time cannot be recovered. So we get the fungicide um, early in the disease cycle and also in advance of this critical R4 growth stage. Okay, good information there from Dr. Bond. So now that we know when to target our fungicide applications, let's talk about a tank mix partner that may bring some added benefits. With pods starting to show up and grain fill on the horizon around the time of application, the soybeans are susceptible to damage and yield loss from insect feeding. Including a foliar insecticide, such as BASF's FastAct CS, can help prevent this insect feeding from occurring. As you can see from our research trials, Preaxor fungicide alone did provide a yield benefit, but including Fastac in the tank gave the application an extra boost. One big advantage for applying fungicides to soybeans is that, for the most part, you can apply either by air or using a ground rig. Both methods are effective as long as everything is done right, and that means making sure we get adequate coverage. So for aerial applications, we want to use a minimum of two gallons per acre, but three would be preferable. Also, since these droplets are very small, include some crop oil to prevent droplet evaporation. As for ground applications, use a minimum of 10 gallons per acre, but I'd rather see that bumped up to 15. Include a surfactant adjuvant for increased coverage and retention on the leaf, and utilize nozzles that will provide medium to coarse droplets. And finally, let's talk about what fungicides to use. BASF has three industry-leading options for soybeans. Preaxor fungicide with Zemium technology, along with Veltima and Revitec fungicides powered by our new Revisol technology. All three of these fungicides offer plant health benefits to protect your crop against disease and environmental stresses, while our new active ingredient in Veltima and Revitec bring next-level preventative and curative disease control. Talk to your local BASF rep to determine which option is the best fit for your operation. To learn more about how BASF plant health fungicides perform in your backyard, visit RevXFields.com. Experience the difference.